could happen. But as we we're getting into this match right now, and uh, I didn't see what stage it was, but it is Town and City, mm -hmm. and that's pretty unique because I think Charles, yes, Charles is going Snake as I predicted, so it should come down to Ooh. just Pikachu just playing really aggressive as he's doing right now, just so aggressive. Yeah, he's gonna have to really make sure his combos are airtight because if not, he is going to be trading with grenades and that is not something you want to do as a light character. Especially right now, just so much pressure and the B reverse is doing a big thing for Mr. L and really paying off big time and uh, the, the B reverse T jolts, as I like to call it. He catches those jumps. Getting hit by the grenade, wow. Mm -hmm. T-Jolt's a really important factor in this matchup because it's really good at intercepting grenades and just getting rid of them easy. Possibly looking for the uh, thunder, but I don't know what he was going for. There's the stock, nice dash attack. So strong from Pikachu, just mm -hmm. overall. There's so many things that you have to be scared of about Pikachu when you're landing, and especially a snake, someone who has a notoriously poor recovery and landing. Oh, nice down air out of shield, though. I see a lot of snakes doing that, and that's uh, one of the good things I see here from Charles. But again, just poke, uh, Mr. O, excuse me. No Putting him all these pressure with the thunders. Oh, manages the whip from that, but again, it's just all this pressure. And he's having trouble, um, Charles, just finding a way to get in and like get some damage in, so. He tries to set up in the corner, but Mr. L is just going to quick attack off. It means nothing. This is going to be really hard for Charles to try to figure out how to get the damage and how to get the kills on Mr. L. Yeah, overall, it's just there's the up tilt, bringing it closer. But it, I feel like 108, it's just not the best situation right now for Charles going into this game because Mr. L is just playing overall just so beautifully and just playing the matchup as he should. So oh, it's yeah. paying off big time. Going high again, scary. He is terrified. You know he does not want to be in this position at all because of what happened last time and how much damage he racked up. Oh, that would have killed. F43. Probably would have, yes, it probably would have. But he manages to get the right recovery. And that's the stock, that's beautiful. Beautiful Done. read there from Mr. L. Realizing he was going to the left and just mm -hmm. thundering. And that was very, very nice. That looked really messy. I don't think that was true. I'm, I'm going to call him out. I think he just called him out on not pressing a button at all. Absolutely. Beautiful. These Nikitas, though, are going to be big, but he manages to quick attack through there, and oh, that almost killed. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's a DI check for sure. If you're not DIing that perfectly, that would have killed. Ah, he, he should have waited. He should have waited to, to uh, blow up there because it was stickied onto him. Should have waited till he was at least in shield. Be a little bit more patient with that. Probably would have taken the stock too. And right now, Mr. L just waiting to finish the job. Living again. Just so unfortunate. Ooh, where's he going? We don't know. He's still living. Oh, wow. What beautiful DI. And there's the stock though. Mm -hmm. But again, just Mr. L living at such unbelievable percents. It's just crazy. The DI is incredible. And the way he's been using Charles' grenades against him sometimes has been really on point too. And just helping him dominate this game one. Ah, still though, there is still a chance that uh well, there's certainly a chance. Charles finds a way, but right now it's just it's just unfortunately not looking the best because all of this pressure coming in from Mr. L is just too much for Charles. If it was a smaller stage, that would have been it, by the way. Um, but yeah, just so much pressure. Mm -hmm. All right, he's just pulling grenades and trying to live as long as he can to maybe get a random up tilt. I'm not sure that would have killed, but it's still terrifying for Mr. This L. game went, okay, there's the game, but no, nope. oh, oh. he's living. Wow. Beautiful DI at 169, he is alive from Pikachu Dash Deck. He's dead. Oh, he so wow. Dead. He should, he, if he had got back to the ledge there, I felt like he probably, there's a chance he could have made it back. Oh, yeah, no. He so, he was not close enough for that yeah, air dodge to work anyway. Absolutely not close enough, yep. Jesus. But that recovery was out there. That was wild. He did not want to get touched at all by Mr. Hill. 
He's just staying on top of the stage. He's going super, super high. And, it, you know, it's working a little bit. I mean, he brought it back a lot there. And that's just super impressive from Charles just to make the adaptation. I feel like he'll have a, a better time in game two. I feel like he'll do a better job just overall game two. Yeah, I it's, feel. Definitely gonna see, it's definitely going to be interesting to see how he uh, adapts, how he tries to get these landings better and not be punished for them. And recovery is something he's also going to have to work on a lot. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, this game is going to matter a lot because we go to small battlefield here. Mm -hmm. This is smaller for Pikachu, and I believe there's a chance that maybe he gets hit with another back with a back air and possibly get driven off the stage. But nice, really beautiful start, though, from Charles. Racking up already 50% on the board, which is good good already. But again, Pikachu with all these combos, just putting in work. He instantly matches it. He has been doing so good at catching Charles, recovering high. And there's not much else Snake can do. He's just been on top of it at all times. Yeah, overall, right now, it's just... These T-Drills are coming in big. He does not necessarily want to approach him as much. And when he, like, runs into him, then he can get the punish. So mm -hmm. it's just looking like it's Mr. Zell's game, and we're all playing it. So mm -hmm. you never know. All right. Landing again. Going to get catched by Dash Attack. Small Battlefield has really small blast zones, and I see why Charles wanted to go here to possibly get earlier kills on Pikachu. But at the same time, Pikachu can turn, around, turn that around on you. Oh, the back air strings just so deadly, and uh, well, he's not letting him recover. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, I no, oh, he, he could have gotten. I feel like he could have gotten something if he just like backed off and let him get up attack there. He could have like punished him for that, but of course, doesn't get the punish. And right now, it's just already 54% from Charles. Well, Mr. L still is up a stock, so I don't know at the moment. Pikachu off stage, it doesn't matter much. That quick attack is doing such a good job of keeping Mr. L off the corner and away from where Snake is the scariest, in my opinion. Nice back air, though, bringing it closer. 68 still manageable, but unfortunately, he could have punished him if he didn't have the grenade there, and now he's getting he's getting punished over and over again. And nice parry on the back air there, really good oh. stuff. All right, on the platform, really scary place for Charles, as is most of the places on this stage for Charles. Yeah, overall, just, it's, I feel like Charles just can't find anything. Up, up throw, not, gonna not yet. quite. I feel like he'd have waited for the possible Thunder air dodge. Not sure, though. Mm -hmm. Shield there, holding for the uh, that he, probably would have killed. He does not want to stay on that platform for long. There's a lot of ways Pikachu can kill from that dash attack or grab up throw. He just does not want to approach either of these players right now playing the camping game. Well, a little bit, a little bit less Mr. L, but it's still like I don't know, it's still like both oh, yeah. players are across the stage. So. Generally, you have to approach Snake, but because Mr. L is in such a comfortable position right now, he has the luxury to just stay back and play as patient as he needs to and look for his way in. Now, the up throw was going to kill there, obviously, because he was at, like, 200%. Mm -hmm. But if nice job finding it in the first place. Nice job finding that opening for the punish there. But already 16%. If he just blows himself up, you know, with the grenades, it's just not effective. It's, you know, yes, he's bringing on damage to Mr. L as well, but I just don't think it's yeah. as effective. Part of it is just the mental damage that Mr. L has inflicted on Charles right now. He's desperate to try to get out of disadvantage. That was that was actually really good there because he did not want to get hit by the grenade there and he decided to quick attack back to just get a better landing spot. But And that's something that was uh, overall impressive. But right now, just so much pressure again from Mr. L. Just... Charles can't find an opening, and yes. Just barely going to kill. I think even with good DI, I feel like that could have, like, even with, like, perfect DI, I mean, like, that could have, like, definitely mm. killed, but. Ooh. That spacing was really clean. He just got right on the corner with that beer over his down beat. Fortunately, he doesn't get, like, the second hit of the downer there. He could have led up to something, but right now, it's 36. He's just trying to He just alive. needs a dash attack at this point, and okay. then 
That will oh. be the game. Oh, that could have been a great read. His objective right now is to just stay alive as long as he can and hope the grenades do enough damage to maybe get a kill. Oh, a super unfortunate, yeah. And that's Mr. L taking the set. Just overall an unfortunate from Charles. Just really, I don't know, He could, I was trying to go for something. He might have ducked under the... Uh,